Well, this next story had a whole lot of people today saying, what? Are you serious? It's about the monkey in the sheepskin coat who was wandering around an Ikea parking lot in Toronto. Turns out his name is Darwin, and when word and pictures got out about him, he fast became an international sensation. Christina Stevens has his story. He's a tiny ball of fur that's creating a huge stir after some outrageous monkey business at a Toronto Ikea. Dressed in his winter best, he escaped from a car into the parking lot, then inside, the video has gone viral. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a monkey. And then my sister was like, is that real? It's, we just thought it was fake, it was a small monkey wearing a coat and like a diaper. This is so weird, why is there a monkey at Ikea? The little guy didn't get to do any shopping though. He was soon cornered by security guards. He looks in great shape. He was then taken into custody by Toronto Animal Services. So who is this diminutive showstopper making international news? His name, Darwin. His type, recess macaque. His status, illegal. His owner was found, fined and signed him over to the city. The owner has told us that he was born in Montreal, he's about seven months old, he's very tiny. Um, he's not very happy right now, so uh, he's comfortable, but he's, uh, you know, he's having kind of a bad day. Darwin's bad day has been a field day for social media, which has gone bananas over his exploits. Lawyers are working to free Ikea Monkey, they're working pro bono. Ikea Monkey for Prime Minister, and I'm hearing a lot of buzz about this new Ikea Monkey. What's it, some kind of shelf? He even has his own mock account. My name is Darwin, come on bro. Way overdressed for this animal shelter and just passed by a mirror and holy cow, how cute am I. As for the real Darwin, there are no Swedish meatballs for him. He's now been transferred to a sanctuary. He's going to be looked after in the capacity that he needs. After his newfound celebrity, Darwin's expected to spend his days quietly out of the limelight. But his escapade begs the question, Ikea? Swedish for monkey? Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.